We're standing today in front of the truly unique aircraft. It's actually, for me personally, quite emotional. Uh, for the untrained eye, the viewer don't really see the difference from previous aircrafts, but the heart and soul in this machine is truly amazing. The future of air combat uh, will be even more complex than it is today, and to be able to create the air power that Gripen creates today and make that sure in the future as well, we have to make it future-proof. To be able to be future-proof, it's not enough that this aircraft has the coolest software and the coolest computers today. I want to be able to give our pilots the best available computers on the market in one year, two years, five years, ten years. We have built a system adaptable for the future. The winner of tomorrow's air combat will be the one that's able to adapt to present circumstances, gets ahead of the enemy, and then can shift and strike from unexpected directions. Traditionally, Adding more software to a fighter jet requires a lot of verification, even on the existing platform. But what you're looking at here is the world's first reconfigurable avionics platform qualified to meet the highest safety and security standards. Reconfigurable means that we can add applications without having to re-qualify the platform. We can even change hardware without affecting the overall application layer, just leaving the aircraft with a lot more computer power. The computation and power in this aircraft allows for the use of today's most demanding algorithms, such as deep learning algorithms and the complex algorithms used for the sensor fusion, utilizing all the new sensors we have in the aircraft and also providing synergy from them. We are building to make this fire as good as possible today, but what we also know is that we want it to stay relevant for a long period of time. And we don't know what the fight will look like in 30, 40 years from now. To ensure that we have a fighter that's still relevant, we are building it so we easily can upgrade it and use the latest and best technology out there when it comes to hardware and also when it comes to algorithms. That allows us to break the opponent's decision loop, and when you do that, you will win.